Hey guys, what is up and welcome to today's video. Today is the third part of our cruise vlogs and today we finally made it to Willemstad, Curacao and we are going to be doing some fun stuff today. Obviously we have to go get off the boat before we do the fun stuff, but we're doing awesome stuff today. I looked up a lunch place for us to go to as well as we are going to be doing a tour of the whole island which well probably not the whole island but a lot of the island a lot of the major sites so come along with us as we kind of explore curacao because honestly we definitely went out of our comfort zone for some of these things like the lunch place that we were going to i had no idea how far it was from our cruise ship but it was only a 13 minute walk if the emma bridge was down but unfortunately it was up so we had to take the ferry so all you do is walk all the way down there are signs to the Emma Bridge and the Queen Emma Bridge or the Emma Bridge. And when you get there, you'll see that it's either up or down. And if it's up, there is a sign that tells you to take the ferry. So you walk all the way down to the pier and you take a free ferry. Now the ferry is free. I do want to state that twice, three times, four times. The ferry is free. I thought we had to pay for the ferry and I was about to be pissed, but we didn't have to pay for it. I mean, I would have paid for the ferry anyways. I was just being a little a little dramatic right there but honestly i would have taken the ferry anyways and i was so happy we were able to explore both sides of willemstad so the side we are going on right now is the punda side which is where they have all the shops and some eateries and things like that and the architecture oh my god this is literally a postcard like how beautiful is are the colors and everything of the buildings so beautiful and when we took our panoramic tour of everywhere and <laughs> we noticed that even in like the not so like sexy parts of the city still super sexy because honestly all of the buildings were so colorful so here we are at La Boheme and we ended up getting two smoothies as well as a ham and cheese toasty which if you guys don't know what a toasty is it's basically like a ham and cheese sandwich but there's bread in the middle of the two other pieces of bread so that's a toasty and those are pretty common in the netherlands i'm pretty sure that's one of their like basics that you would eat there um correct me if i'm wrong i'm sorry correct me if i'm wrong but i'm pretty sure whenever i watch other people's travel vlogs they talk about toasties whenever they're like in denmark or any of the areas over there so there you go we got some smoothies they were superbomb.com um, I got a green smoothie, Rich got the mango, and I got the clockwork orange. All right, so here we are actually walking across Emma Bridge now. So it did go down, which was great. So we could walk quickly to Riff Fort because we wanted to check this place out before we had our excursion. So fun fact about Riff Fort, Riff Fort is a 19th century defense monument which was built to protect the island from invasions of pirates and enemies. Its key location was centered in the heart of Curacao, and, but now it lies in the entrance of Sint Anna Bay in the western Ultrabanda neighborhood, which is the other neighborhood um, other than Punda that is in Willemstad, Curacao. But you guys, look at this view. This fort literally protected everybody from pirates. Like, if you don't smell Pirates of the Caribbean right now, I don't know what I can tell you. I literally need some rum and I feel like I'm hanging out with Captain Jack Sparrow like straight up was so excited about this but obviously we are back now to the ship because we do have to get to our excursion which was leaving at 1 30 so we had to make sure we were in line by 1 15 so it's very easy you just find a guy holding the sign that has the name of your excursion ours was discover curacao and it was 54 dollars a person All right, guys, so now we are on the bus to take us to a couple of different destinations in Willemstad. The first destination that we are on our way to is the Museum of Curacao, which is going to show us a lot of different items and artifacts from the 1800s during colonial time in Curacao. And on our way there, we're obviously like passing so many colorful buildings. And I was told the reason that it's so colorful is that at one point there was like one shade of beige or something. And then they all got different paint um, imported into the island and they just went crazy and upkept it because obviously who wouldn't want to live in a bright house like there was here. So here is the first stop. We are officially here at the Museum of Curacao or the Curacao Museum. And honestly, it's such a beautiful 
area. That crystal, by the way, is fake. We were told it was plastic, but it makes kind of a cool little artifact, right? So that is the picture of the Kyrgyzstan Museum that I took um, when everybody was kind of talking in the corner so I could take a picture with no people in it. But this is what it looks like. This is how people used to live back in the 1800s. All of the wood items were made out of mahogany because apparently termites hate mahogany. So that's why they built everything with mahogany, mahogany furniture, all of that good stuff. And also fun fact, I believe all of the buildings are made with concrete um, because of the hurricanes even though the Netherlands Antilles don't really get hurricanes they're actually so south that the hurricanes kind of pass them by they still have you know residual hurricane items so they do build all of their island homes the same way and also with resistance from the salt because there's so much salt in the air that it will ruin buildings at the time but anyways that's completely out of the situation that we're dealing with right now which is the beautiful museum of curacao and by the way this wall is polka dotted because it was supposed to confuse flies in the kitchen because flies have so many little eyeballs that like they didn't know where they were going so that was supposedly supposed to kind of you know tell the flies they you know confuse the flies anyways this is a beautiful map of the netherlands antilles and we were learning a lot about the trade routes and stuff at this time and then afterwards we were able to go outside and check out a few items, but let's go on to the next place. All right guys, so now we are here at the next stop, which is called the Lanhes Chobolobo. I'm pretty sure that's how it's pronounced. I'm probably way off, but this is a blue curacao distillery. It was actually a mansion before it became a distillery, but it was converted to be a blue curacao distillery. And we just learned a lot about the history of Blue Curacao as well as the Jewish immigration to Curacao. I believe there's two synagogues on Curacao as well, which sucks that we didn't get to go there today. I really wanted to go um, because I myself am Jewish, so I really wanted to kind of get into the culture. But unfortunately, um, on this tour, you're not really able to except for here at Blue Curacao Distillery. So I thought that was really cool that I got to learn something new. I learned like tens of thousands of different fun facts here on Curacao from our amazing tour guide by the way she was really good and full of information i highly recommend this tour if you want to really just get a basic knowledge of curacao and about the different things that happen on this island but anyways so we're gonna go ahead and taste some uh blue curacao right now and check out our reaction wow. Mm -hmm. What do we need to see the mind at the beginning? The tamarind. Tamarind. Very strong. Are they both the same? The tamarind's super sweet. And then we're going to try the chocolate one. You know what? We can do? We can take all three. Oh my god, the chocolate one is so good. Yeah, the chocolate one is the best. That was amazing. All right, so after we did our tasting, we went over to the gelato stand and they had these amazing gelato ice cream where you can actually put alcohol in it. But we just decided to get non-alcoholic. We got uh, vanilla and blue curacao tasting ice cream or gelato. And it was, oh my God, so amazing. Like it was perfect snack. We also got two bottles of water because we were low-key like dehydrated so anyways we are off to our next destination which i believe is the final destination of this tour so let's go see where we're heading off to next
all right guys so now we are here at the hato caves we were super excited to be here because this was something that rich and i both like we're very into you know geology and crystals and stuff so we came here and unfortunately this was the only footage i could get for you guys because of the fact that we weren't allowed to film in there or take photos because of the fruit bats. There's a ton of fruit bats in there. Um, and if you take photos, they'll just go blind and like hit their, their head on a rock and die. But anyways, the Hato Caves are actually, used to be underwater caves. So for them to be on top of a hill is like ridiculous. I will leave all the links, by the way, of all of these places that we went to down below. So you guys can go ahead and read more about them. It's just, of course, I can't go over the whole history of everything. So definitely make sure to check out the links down below for more information about the museum, the caves, and the distillery. After that, we made a quick stop to look at some flamingos. Flamingos are everywhere on Curacao and Bonaire. You're gonna see them more in our Bonaire vlog as well. But yeah, it's a flamingo sanctuary. All the flamingos are protected on all of these islands and they're just super cute. But anyways, let's get back to the vlog. Hey guys, what is up? So we are obviously back in our room now. It was a really, really great tour with Curacao. If you guys decide to book with Royal Caribbean, our tour guide was really good. It was Discover Curacao, so you ended up going to the Curacao Museum and the Hato Caves and distillery at Chocolobo, I think is what it's called, for Blue Carousel, where we did a tasting. You guys saw all of that. But right now, we're super hungry. I did buy one thing off of the island, which was just a magnet. I wanna buy magnets from everywhere we go but we went to the cafe promenade and just got some stuff to munch on in between dinner we did end up doing reservations at the main dining room for my time dining we did it for 8 15. it is currently like five something so we wanted a little bit of a snack beforehand it's also it's also caribbean night so we're dressed up in our just outfits that we wore today because we wore caribbean outfits today so anyways i'm gonna go check in back in with you guys when we go to the main dining room for lunch or for dinner oh my god All right guys, so now we are here back in the main dining room for our dinner at 8.15. I ended up getting a seafood crab cake, which was amazing. It came with this awesome, like sweet, tangy butter sauce and it was so freaking good. And you can see the inside. It's just made with crab and shrimp. And yes, I don't have the actual description in front of me this time for this vlog, but it's okay, you guys will live. Next, I did get a New York sirloin with chive and onion butter and it was so good as well and then richard got i think some sort of a shank or something um for his dinner and then for dessert i didn't want anything sweet so i ended up getting the cheese platter that they have the cheese and fruit platter and it was like okay i was kind of sad i got that to be honest and, but richard got the new york cheesecake which was bomb.com i really wish i got that for my freaking dessert but alas didn't then afterwards we went to the show and it was actually really good. It was music and dancing at this time. Hey guys, it is finally the end of the night. We are about to go to bed. Tomorrow is actually Bonaire. We thought it was Aruba tomorrow. At least I thought it was Aruba tomorrow, but it's not. It is Bonaire. We are doing another um, kind of toury thing. And then there's actually some fun things going on tomorrow night on the ship as well. There's an ice show. And then what else is there? An ice show, the Caribbean festival is that night, as well as name that tune by Queen. So there's like a Queen thing. And then there's dancing under the stars deck party, but I don't know if we're gonna go to that because we have to wake up really, really early the next day. But anyways, that is the end of today's vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give it a huge thumbs way, way up. Subscribe. If you have me into the Bright Patch fan band, we have fun here all the time. Uh, 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 I'm. If you guys like the editing of this video or you're interested in any type of video editing, um, services make sure to check out the link down below i'm currently taking on clients to edit their videos so if you guys are like backlogged or if you just need somebody to kind of spruce up your videos a little bit let me know leave a comment down below or just check the link in the bio and or in the description box but anyways i'm gonna let you guys go have a great night and i'll see you all the next time i upload a video bye